Well, I figured I should probably cover this game on the grounds. I covered the first game on the Game Boy Advance previously. Some Night Swordcraft Story. So it only makes sense to cover the sequel, you know? If just because of that reason alone. And I've been meaning to get into more Game Boy Advance titles anyway, so... It seems like this would be a good one to pick, you know? I suppose we should move on to the actual title screen so we can jump into the game here. <laughs> well, let's start a new game. And obviously I'm gonna choose to play as the female character, cause screw that smug looking boy guy. Okay. Well, let's see. I need a name here. Eh, I guess we'll go with the wrong one half rent friends, so we'll be um Renko. Pl plus it'll fit in a second anyway. Yes, yes, it's okay. I mean, I'm not a strict redhead, but I'm close enough, right? We did it! We're not doing bad all. We only have a little bit further to go. Hey, if anyone finds out that I let someone in, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. I promised Ryoga I'd do it for him. I can't break my promise. Hey, even if it wasn't for Ryoga, I'm a craft knight. The word of a craft knight is stronger than the toughest chain. No matter what happens, I can't go back on my word. Hey, look out! What? Ryoga? Ah! Uh, whoa! Renko? You idiot! Well, at least we didn't fall to our doom, I guess. Are you alright? <laughs> uh, don't worry about me. I'm okay. Crab Knight doesn't just make weapons. She has to prepare her body to use them in battle. You learn to walk before you can fight in battle. You're just repeating what Blair told you, aren't you? You're still just an apprentice. Am I right? I might be just an apprentice, but I'm still a Craft Knight. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, why did you promise that? Ah, uh, she lost a duel, huh? Whatever, you lost, I won. You made a promise and I need to make good. The ruin might be a restricted area, but you still need to guide me in. I know, I know. Well then, watch out, there's a cliff over there. Falling off would hurt more than running into me. Right. <laughs> Well, as if I'd be worried about you. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up, Ryoga. Ooh, we can run. We can't, huh? Jeez. You were the first one to get here, huh? Gates up ahead. Are you sure you want to go into Gora's gate, Ryoga? There are some evil summoning creatures past the gate, you know? Yeah, I want to see the monsters that are so powerful they can ruin the world. It's not fair you're only one to go in and see him. I want to check it out, too. What can I say? I get it. You're scared of breaking Gora's seal, huh? Honestly, yes, I would be afraid of breaking such a seal. If there's monsters in there that can blow up the planet, it's probably best to leave them in there. <laughs> Are you just worried about Master Blair shouting at you? To hell with you. You're not so tough in front of your sister, either. Oh, that's not true at all. Well, that'd be a little true. You should still shut up about it, though. <laughs> she may not be my real sister, but she means a lot to me. You do, huh? Hmm, interesting outfit. Reminds me of Pai Long. Didn't think I was going to make a reference to Shaman King today. And that swirl kind of makes me think of Naruto, to be honest. I mean, it's not complete, but... Sort of familiar, like the pack, you know... Patch in the back of most of the um, outfits from... You know, the Hidden Village and the Leaves. So it represents the Hidden Village of Whirlpool and the Uzumaki Clan. Well, there's your dad now. You should be happy. No, he's a little weird, but still. <sighs> Decent guy, eh? Titania? I mean, I just got done dealing with the Titanian infinite space. 
<sighs> don't just just don't start calling her tats, baby. Okay. Staying on to the stone all this time is because Blair told me to keep it with me. Okay, okay, I get it. Oh, by the way, the other day he said he doesn't want you to call him master. He said to call him your big brother. Huh? No way. I don't understand master at all. <laughs> you have a pretty nice family. I'm a little jealous. You do, huh? For what? Ah, you want to be like his sister, huh? She waits. Now what? Shut up, I think I heard something. Uh-oh. I heard it too. Well, I guess we should investigate. Used to, huh? What's over there now? Just a seal? Look, Renko. Something on the ground? Sullen creature, what is it? Uh, it's. We'll go with the devil girl. Guess that's just how I roll. <laughs> is it a girl? It's a sullen creature from the spirit realm of Sopareth. It's a devil! A she devil! Yeah, why is the she devil here? Well, considering her state, I would assume so. Probably. Oh crap, what is it? This cute bunny is the monster? Uh oh. It's a rampage rabbit. Well, I'll beat the crap out of you, bunny. Get back here. Well, that didn't hurt too bad. I probably shouldn't challenge it too openly, though. I mean, let's face it. I don't have much to my name right now. Hey, you. Pay attention to me. Jeez. Like, I can cut my attack off or something. Well, it's just a bunny rabbit. Am I supposed to be amazed? Jeez. The little bunny was worth 50 experience points? Bullshit. <laughs> uh. Oh, I get one point? Well... I'll put it into agility so I can move a little faster. Probably dump most of it into attack and defense layer though, or just attack and agility and try and get very good at dodging. Yeah, it's just caught off guard. Great craft knight must be able to use the weapons she makes. Even when it's only my forging hammer. After all, this hammer can forge more than a weapon. It can forge a woman. <laughs> Hammer is the soul of the craft knight. Take it with me everywhere, even to the bathroom. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Of course I am, but what's this summon creature doing here in the first place? What kind of talk is that? Huh? That stupid owl just started attacking me for no reason. I ran all the way here. Yeah, I'm the victim, damn it. You could show me at least a little sympathy. I'm sorry, wait, what? Hmm. My question is, why is there a rampaging rabbit in the first place? Hey, I'm not some bumpkin tripping over her own feet. Show me some respect. I am a she-devil. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's only natural to step in and save a girl in distress. What? Ah, uh, come on, you two. Don't stop me, Renko. This girl needs to learn the air of her ways. Yeah, you two really don't have to fight each other out here. Just chill out. Uh, where'd this come from? Used to, huh? How special you are? I don't know if you're special at all. We'll see about that. 
You are right? That rabbit hurt you? No, no, but my feelings are hurt. Oh, come on. You don't expect that to work, do you? How do you even get into this village in the first place is my question. Exactly. How would she get in? The ward? I didn't see it. I guess one of the keystones must have collapsed. I'll have to tell the chief about that. Hey, wait, where's your master? I'm not serving anyone at the moment. My master died in a war a while ago. I see, so you're a stray summon. Doesn't, huh? Yeah, all kinds of dangers that a helpless she-devil just can't deal with. Oh, woe is me. <laughs> There's a saying that if you save someone's life, that person is your responsibility until you die. I think you got that backwards, but, you know, whatever. Jeez. An obligation, huh? Full of mana. Good luck with that. Uh oh. Sorry. Sorry about what? Oh, now she's a she angel? You know, this is a weird quirk to have. Jeez. This is getting weird. Maybe I went better off with a mechanized soldier. Well, you already did. Yeah, seriously, what the heck happened to you? So you take turns being inside each other? She has, huh? What do you mean? I'm tired she managed to take over my body and apologize to you. I certainly wouldn't have done it, because I'm a devil. <laughs> well, of course you'd be. There's not enough mana here. Alright, just realize you're gonna get stuck being my mana pet at some point, you know? Or summon. Ugh. <sighs> Hey, wait up. What now? We haven't been introduced yet. Don't call me that guy. I'm much better than, you know, that guy. Oh, sorry. And what's your name? Um... I don't know. What's a demonic name here that'd be appropriate? I know she's technically a devil, but whatever. Boom. Yeah, I think that works. Pronounce Dark Star. Probably wouldn't matter with a space in it, but I wasn't sure I'd have enough room. Uh, I guess it doesn't hurt to know your name. Well, let's go to back to my place. <laughs> well. I guess it's a bit humble, made with straw there. Hopefully. I doubt it. Seriously, where are they gonna get stuff with lots of mana in it? Seriously, what's a mana anyway? You don't know what mana is. You've heard of it, haven't you? Of course. Mana is... You don't need to lecture me now. Or you're treating her far too nicely. It's just because she's a girl, isn't it? Why are you getting angry at me? Let her be a little spoiled. Starkstar's sick, you know. Embarrassing, huh? Jeez. See, you're shouting again. Man, these siblings really don't get along, do they? Yeah, I suppose we do. Kind of. 
Welcome to Craft Knight Blair's Place. A summon creature? We don't get too many of them around here. Who's our master? Uh... I don't have a master right now. That means you're a stray summon, is that right? Kind of. Well, what are we gonna do now? Yeah, stray summons aren't allowed inside the village. It's against the law. Hm. Is that right, Ranko? Well, kind of. <laughs> I never promised to do that. Jeez, she really is a devil. Oh, lots of food, huh? Oh, you're gonna get dragged along, alright. Well, of course. And then she changes right in the middle of everybody, right? Ah, uh, jeez. Yeah, she transformed, alright. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. That's a rare summon creature, alright. Uh, it's not your fault, is it? Jeez. Uh, you don't have to run away like this. Someone's definitely gonna have to take possession of this summon, because she's insane. Somehow I doubt it. Is she trying to kill me? <laughs> Looks like you two are having fun together. What, are you paying attention? Oh, you were, were you? You just like to shout and argue, don't you? Craft Knights? Those who melt metal and then hammer that to make th things, right? Yep, we basically make weapons. Oh, hey. And she's getting dragged into it. Oh, wait. I guess I can't save just yet, can I? Unless I can do it upstairs. Oh, well, we'll go into the basement real quick. Ah, there's the sword. That's a save point. Yep, we make weapons here. Yep, Guardian Beasts. With their assistance, we can make some special weapons that can't be made with fire and steel alone. Yep, effective fighters. You must forge the weapons you will use. I don't know if that's really true. You know, being good at using a sword doesn't mean you're necessarily going to be good at making them. <laughs> that's pretty sudden. Hey, are you telling me to protect this person? You got that right. It's a dangerous world out there full of stray summons. Hmm. Probably gonna make weapons? How it usually works is that Guardian Beasts are called by a summon talisman only when forging a weapon like I do. That's not gonna work in your case, Darkstar. Just why should I agree to this proposal? Let me be blunt. We can't allow stray summons in this village, so you either do this, or I'll kick you out. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, they do, do they? I don't know if Ranko is coming out ahead in this deal, because her summon is crazy. What's wrong? Hey, you can't just treat me as an object to be passed around. I didn't mean it like that. I see how it is. Get out of my way. You're son of this world and lived as a stray summon, but... Really? 
trust Ranko, huh? It wasn't just a coincidence that Ranko brought you here, Darkstar. <laughs> Jeez. No, no it doesn't. You said no such thing. Jeez. This is getting weird. Well, I'm guessing the Angel side is going to make that promise. And boom, we erupted again. <laughs> A slug, huh? I'm surprised we're even that high on the scale. <laughs> I think you'll be a good team. No way. Uh. Well, that's because she's constantly out. And she's crazy. Yeah, it's a deal, alright. <laughs> the Monument Square. Uh, I guess you don't really get a choice in that. Boom. Getting dragged away. <sighs> now what? Uh, yeah, where did that come out of all of a sudden? What are you plying? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be honest, right? What, can you see the future now? Well, we can worry about doing that later. For now, I should probably save. Oh, that was meta. Yeah, I worked on this game before, but I never got very far in, as you can tell. Um, save over that slot. Because that's just how I roll. There's no reason to keep it around if I'm not going to continue off of it. Well, that does it for this episode.